So right, so the next repair is a Bremi power supply, which is a BRS27. So this is the same batch of uh, jobs from uh, the gentleman um, up at um, Homefirth. So it's Nora Batty's uh, or Compost power supply looking at that. So looking at the plug, I think we're going to be changing that. Let's just want to check the wiring. We're in Mr. Chippy's workshop. So can you just check the wiring on that, please? We're going to pat test that. We're going to put a new plug on it, but we don't need to do that at this moment. I don't think we've ever done pat tests on these videos, so we'll just do that as well with you. So what have we got? 13 amp fuse? Looks like brown, yeah. 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 Come out. So we need to have a 3 amp fuse in there. And the wires are in the right holes at least. Let's zoom in on that. So for those of you not in the UK, there are fuses in the UK plugs. And the earth is the top one, the blue is the neutral, and the brown is the live. So we put a 3 amp fuse in. It's not wide very well though, I mean, if you were to pull on that, it would pull the earth out first, yes, that's the last thing you want. Absolutely. So we will be putting a new, and we'll show you that uh, happening. It is a rubber plug, which is kind of nice, but uh, it's not got the shrouded pin, so it's no longer uh, really legal. Not that they're going to come round and nick you, but uh, it needs to go. So it's a bit, uh, these are uh, powder coated, these cases, and they do after they're 40 years old like this they can go a bit uh, dodgy like this I suppose you could rub it down and repaint it but it's we don't need to do that so shall we take the screws out of that Mr C I'll pause the video while you do so okay for those of you who have not seen inside one of these before your printer circuit board has got a voltage regulator IC which is an L123 which is in fact an LM723 or MUA723 depending on what make it is. So the fact it's a 123, don't worry about that, it's really a 723. So the large axial capacitor, that's the one with the leads coming out from either end, uh, we'll, we're gonna replace all the capacitors. Now the early production of these have got a two core mains lead. This is a later production, so it's a three core mains lead made for the UK. So this is going to be post 1981. Now, when people were involved with CB before it was legal in the UK, um, there were still Bremi power supplies coming in, but they were made for the European market, so they were 220 volt rated, and they had a two core mains lead. So any you see with the figure eight mains lead will have a 220 volt transformer. The problem is that when put on a 240 volt supply, which is what we were at the time, that 10% uh, uh, took those capacitors over the, Mr. Chippy's just not my camcorder tripod, uh, took the capacitors out of their voltage range so they blew up within a month. However, when these transformers came in, they wound for 240 volts and now we're 230 volts, so everything's fine. Now, this is 40 years old, so we're going to change all the capacitors and Mr. C's going to open it up further. Right, so what I decided to do was to put a new plug on. So, Mr. Chippy's put a new plug on, 3 amp fuse, and as you can see, that's wired in such a way that if you pulled on the wire, the earth would be last to come out, which is the plan. So if you put the lid on the plug, Mr. Chippy, and we'll pat test this before we go any further, because it would be silly if the insulation on the transformer uh, was no good after doing overhaul work. So it goes to the pat tester, Let's see if we get that in the camera. Um, can you bring that to there? Because we can't see the display from here. Okay, when you yeah. see the earth. That's it. Yeah, thumbnails. Right, so I'll just make sure. So we've got that plugged into the power tester. It's battery operated power tester. And we've got the product switched on. We've got the earth lead to the heat sink inside, which is bolted to the case. Um, and so that goes in the back of the tester. So, Mr. Chippy, let's have the moment of truth and see what, what Pat thinks about it. Right, so it's that one. We've got some dramatic background music on the tannoy system. Who's thinking about that? So this is a 500 volt insulation test.
Right, just tilt the display slightly towards the camera. Oh, we've got now no, up a bit more. That's it. Because we've got um, glare from the millions of lights. Okay, so that's where we are with that. I had to take this cutaway shot of this butterf uh, butterfly moth, which is determined to come in and do whatever moths do. So there's two capacitors in there, one's 2200 microfarads, they fit 25 volts. We were going to put 35 volts in, we haven't got one kicking around. We've put a 50 volt in and it turns out to be an axial one anyway. Only because I was out of stock so I must reorder. The other capacitor is 100 microfarads at 16 volts and we've put 25 in. Uh, we've got the Nikicon ones which we use in CB radios. Right, so we've got it connected to the, uh, the load and Mr Chippy is going to switch on 13.765 and you've not, you've not adjusted that have you? I'm too sure. Well then that's at this stage is alright so it's offload put the load on at 1 amp 13.673 change that to 2 amps so you're changing the cursor yep. Thirteen point five eight. It's making the uh, hunt, isn't it? So three amps. Thirteen point four. Now these do not say that they do a surge. Nowhere does it say three to five amp. It says three amps full stop. So can you turn that to three point one? Are you on? Yeah. Yep. Right. So just in now you can turn the wheel until you go up a bit, increment by increment. See what when it goes beyond twelve point eight. Three point seven amps. Yeah. Just on one more. There you go. Three point eight. Yeah. So three point eight amps. So That's there good. you go. That's getting warm. Yeah. We're not going to drop it down straight back to do one or something like that. So on most CB radios, it's going to be something like 350 milliamps on receive, and it's going to be 1.1, 1.2 amps on transmit. So that's a normal 4 watt UK FM CB radio. So that is absolutely working perfectly. We're not going to make it try and do 5 amp because nowhere does it say it should do. But we've just proved this is a surge. It will do 30, uh, what was it, 3.8, 3, 3 amps before we were unhappy. So there we go, it's a good one and uh, I think we'll put the lids on that and thank you for watching the Bremi BRS 27 power supply overhaul.